Good morning, tubers. How are you doing today? As you might notice, the beard is gone. Ah, oh, where did it go? Um, I just had to shave. It had gotten long and unwieldy and out of control, and I just had to do it. So I kind of trimmed it off, um, and at first, as always, Amanda doesn't like it. Uh, and then it kind of grows on her. Ah! Um, it's a nice day today. It's about 70 degrees outside, so it's kind of cool. There's a little breeze. It's really overcast. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like... I don't know. It might rain. Who knows? It always, I hope it rains. I like it when it rains out here. It's really pretty. Oh yeah, my razor broke. So, I have like a couple different razors. Like I have a, like a close shaving razor, and then I have like a trimmer, and then I have like the hair clipper, which I use like when my beard gets really long, because uh, you, you just need to have something that's heavy duty. Um, but, I have this trimmer that I use to like kind of shape it, and uh, and I plugged it in and it was unplugged and I was like, oh man, so I couldn't use it last night So I used it this morning and I left it at charge overnight and I plugged it in And when I went to use it, I guess the battery or the motor in it is, is really dead. So um, it was going And it wasn't really really working right so I guess I'm gonna have to buy a new one Good morning, tubers. How is everyone doing? There we go. How's everyone doing? I am sitting here. It's in the morning, and I actually it's quite late in the morning. And Lucy didn't get up until just now, and it's like eleven o'clock. <laughs> Sometimes that girl likes to sleep in. I don't know why, but um, so I was just gonna feed her some breakfast, which I guess technically it's lunch now. We feed them this uh, nature's recipe because they both love it. It's really good ingredients and they just eat it up. Every other food they'll kind of like pick at it and stuff but they won't really eat all of it. This one they eat all of it. So um, we feed them that but it's the same food and they come and like the packaging and everything is like so similar. So that's the Okay, see, I just had to look at it. I couldn't figure out which one was which. This one, the only difference is it has a dog picture, and this one has a cat picture. You can see that? Yeah, the cat picture. But, I mean, look how similar they look. Unless you really, really look at it, it your mind will trick you, and you'll think this is a cat or, you know, and this is a dog or whatever. Because, actually, when we pick them up at the, at the store, there's sometimes dog food mixed in where the cat food goes, and vice versa. So... Which, which I'm probably really annoying to them, but I always point it out when I notice it. Or sometimes if it's just a little bit in there, I've actually taken them and put them in the right place. I think that's just because I worked in retail for so many years that, like, I don't know. It's just normal for me to, like, fix mistakes. I don't know. Um, Rob came home and he put a C on the cat food and he put a D on the dog food. And I was like, why are you doing that? It's kind of a waste of time because, you know, obviously when we grab it, we'll just see if it's cat food or dog food. And he was like, well, yeah, but it, you know, this way we won't accidentally grab it because you'll see it. I'll have a big D on it or I'll have a C. And I was like, okay, whatever. Now I'm seeing that he is correct. Rob, when you watch this, you're correct. I'm sorry. Um, but you should be used to this because I'm usually wrong. And I'll be the first one to admit that. I'm usually wrong. But anyway, so I'm going to sit here and I'm going to put C on, or D on the dog food. And we got Jasmine some more cat food, so I'm going to put a C like that on there. With black Sharpie. My husband is smart. He's so smart. He's just so smart. Alright, so there you have it, folks. We have the dog food and we have the cat food. And now I just need to put it away in the pantry. Rob, I think we need to pause for silence. There's a dead balloon. No. What do you What do you want to say about that balloon? <laughs> My mom's calling. 
<laughs> Does she want a balloon? <laughs> hey, mom. Yeah. Would you? Would, yeah, we're just at the grocery store. She like to say a few a, words for. We want to know if you want to say a few words. There's a deflated balloon that's on the floor. <laughs> If you wanted to say a few words for this deflated balloon that we just saw on the floor. It's a very sad, tragic accident. Yes, it's very, very sad. We're at the grocery store. <laughs> and you're on the vlog. Yes. We're vlogging us talking to you about it. <laughs> it's behind the scenes. Rest in pieces. <laughs> Well, that was a crazy shopping trip. <laughs> so um, when we first got there, there was this crazy guy that was yelling at this woman and then something fell out of his grocery bag. And so then he threw a fit and threw it all on the ground. And then he started fighting with this other guy that was walking by. <laughs> and then he started like crying to like this couple, yeah. like trying to get them to help him or something. And then, um, we finally went into the grocery store <laughs> and we were looking through the clearance stuff and there's this guy with like his um, his buggy and um, he was looking through the clearance but we just saw the buggy like in front of the clearance and it had all of this clearance stuff in there and, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> and there's that. Um, like and then there was also like goat's milk and um, some other kind of like really nice There's milk. There's a whole bunch of stuff that yeah, was that was like Yeah, that was like and, supposed to be cold. And I was freaking yeah, out. Yeah, and so Rob's like, oh my gosh, why would they do that? And like he's feeling the, the goat's milk to see if it was still cold, to see if we could buy it and salvage it if it wasn't out for too long. And the guy's like, oh, that's my cart. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, it was so like... <laughs> and Rob's all like, really touchy-feely with the milk trying to see if yeah. it was okay well i just wanted to make sure that it was um that it was yeah that know. wasn't just left out yeah because if it was i wanted it yeah but it was just really funny because then the guy's like um that's my cart because yeah. he was also a huge bargain shopper apparently because everything in his cart looked like ours but everything was like not full price yeah. it's all in like manager special but Good then value. and then we're leaving the grocery store and some guy's like walking all shady through the parking lot and then he got arrested. Yeah, I mean it was crazy. So he here he goes, this guy's like booking it through the parking lot. And it was I mean it was obvious that he was like walking with determination. And as we get into the car, I see a cop car just boom through the right, through the main street right next to the parking lot. And the next thing we know, they got the guy, they're taking his pockets out, they're pulling stuff out of his pockets, they're arresting him and bam, it was like, whoa. It was like so fast. It was like really cool. And what did you do? I, uh, oh, I gave the cop a thumbs up and I waved at him. And, I, and Amanda was like, you're not about to do that. I don't know, because then he looked at you like, oh, is he part of this, you know, whole drug yeah. ring oh, or something? Oh, no. look at me. I know, right? But oh. I don't know. It was just really funny. But that was quite an exciting shopping trip, wouldn't yeah, you was. say? Yeah, it was. It was fun. Yeah. And now we're home. Now yeah. we have to bring everything upstairs. And I have to finish cooking dinner. Gotta let the Lucy out. Hey Lucy, Pogo! 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 Hey, not big towel. Toilet paper. <laughs> Lucy! Little Lucy! So, um, funny thing, as you know, yesterday we went to the, uh, to the laundry and we got our laundry done and, uh, so you, we don't dry like all of our stuff because we don't have our dryer, we can't like time the dryers and we go out and stuff, so I take like my pants out and my dress shirts out um, sensitive like uh, clothing like the baby blanket undergarments and we'll uh, lay them on the back seat to dry so I thought I collected everything <laughs> little did I know I went to work today and this was hanging on the seat in the middle of the
exhausted, and so is Lucy. Look how tired she is. Look at that little face. She's so tired. But um, just to let you guys know, we have a lot of very fun, exciting, awesome things coming up this week, so don't miss it. Make sure to give this video a pause up if you liked it. Lucy is not very happy with me right now. And she's got a little baby blanket. How cute is she? Um, but yeah, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. And we'll see you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao. Armani. Ciao, ciao. Armani. You want to say bye to my sister? You want to say bye to my sister? Oh yeah, I have to tell you to you say my bye to my sister. She's right here. Say ciao, ciao. Everybody? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a good job, baby girl. Can you say ciao, ciao? Ciao, ciao. Adamani. Ciao, ciao.